James Wan is back. You know, I almost missed this. I almost missed this premiere. But you know, I was editing a video that I was supposed to put it out today. A video that's late right now, actually. I'm still feeling it after the aftermath of the Peachtree Road Race that we run every 4th of July. And really, since I do have to work again today, I was just going to take it easy. But I said, you know what? Whatever. It's the middle of the summer, got a hoodie on, and it's time to see if new shows came out. As long as I don't expect shows to come out to like the 7th. But Lord behold, Ames has returned. It's out of the 1 out of every 10 YouTube OGs that actually still covers this series. It was time, baby. It was time. Now, when it comes to seasonal premieres, this wall behind me is getting powerful, y'all. When it comes to Overlord premieres, seasonal premieres, honestly, they really just kind of just get us back into the swing of things. Which, after the braces last time, was very much necessary for me. However, there was things this series premiere did, so I keep saying series, season premiere did that other season premieres strictly did not. Now, based off season three, quite frankly, season three was damn near filler. But I say this one kind of is more like season two. Because yes, we got to get back into the swing of most things, but we were still very much driven into what happened in the previous season, trying to push that narrative forward. Because typically when we have this, we have to introduce all the characters, all the homeboys, get everybody back into action. But I just can't do that this time, this time, because he got a country to run. Now, of course, this episode started off as it's supposed to. I bet those freak ass. Ains got some new drip, y'all. Mm -hmm. Now I prefer the hood, I really do. However, that red, that red gold, <laughs> got the diamond shit, and Ains going through the motions of running the country, stamping them things, not knowing what's going on, but just keeping things going while everybody kisses his ass. I didn't know he watched Emperor's New Groove. Hope he doesn't turn into a freaking llama. And even we know Ains, you know the man behind Ains, behind the keyboard, if you will, the salary man, freaking Rock and Black Lagoon. He wonders if there's a way that he and these people can live as equals one day in this big ass house. Yeah, the fuck, right? Because one thing where he, in the beginning of the show, he kind of altered Abelda a little bit, so she kind of loves him the way she does. But everybody else, I mean, this this is just second nature to them. I mean, Ains being that guy. Then again, if you watched three seasons of the show so far, how can you disagree? Now, the whole scene with the twins coming in there, wanting to sit with Ains, sit on Ains' lap. You know, Alberto jealous and stuff like that. She wanted them lap as well. I mean, it's one thing for the kids to be kids, but we know that Alberto literally wants Ains to cut them cheeks. Wants Ains to be the first one to cut them cheeks. Wherever this man's not in his sheets, she is. The girl don't be wearing no drawers when she's around them. Our girl wants to get bent over that table. And there was a word Ains kept using in this season premiere monopolize. As in, Alberto wants to monopolize Ains all to herself. Stalker chick. Again, nothing we didn't already do, but we have a show that tries to make that apparent as it can. I mean, how do you not talk about it? However, the takeaway from the seasonal premiere is actually Ains going through the city, going through seeing what's going on with the humans, and talking to the other Ains. Not other Ains, I forgot his name already, but his name is Shawba Ains, so I guess. Matchman in Heaven. Ains wants to use the humans, to value the humans, to bring them up. Cause he understands that the humans in this town are seen as lesser to all the other species. However, they are able to be as, as much as an adventurer as all these other people. Given Ains do sun competition out here, right? But but stick to being mama. And ultimately what Ains wants to do is to make a utopia where humans can live gracefully as well as not being in fear that possibly being slaves. And he wants to spread this idea worldwide because if he can, and maybe other people will come into these ideals where he could also monopolize, once again, all these terrain, all these other villages, all these other cultures, and when they take over the world. And both all the good and bad ways you can think of, this sounds real familiar. But as well, we know that Ains still wants to connect with his old homies, wishing and hoping and praying rather that they are still playing the game as well, just in somewhere else. Yeah, they didn't they stole that, didn't they? Basically, we're spreading Ains' reign all over, which is low-key always been the original plan from the jump. It's just now Ains is in a different position to kind of push that narrative forward. Ongoing series, what can you say? So yeah, he's in the premiere. What else you want? Only real critiques I couldn't say I had of this is honestly, I wish we would have seen more of the whole crew. Cause yes, I remember, I, I did forget, honestly, that about Hamster Homie and the widespread of the 
the, the fan base in this thing. Let's be real. If anybody they wanted to see, it would have been a Beldo. So adding more Beldo than anything else to this season of Premier probably was the best idea. But there is some faces missing from this. I would like to see. Like my big jackass homie that was mentioned over and over again in the episode but never showed up. A boy in that suit and them black shades. Lizard looking ass. And according to the shelter, I mean, yeah, her vampire fake titty ass is second to a in the grand scheme of things, yes. But their two interactions are kind of the best thing in this series sometimes. So it's like, still waiting on that, right? All these maids running around, Ains, we couldn't get the main one. Her name escapes me right now, but she aided Ains one time, you know. I remember one time she was in season two, we were talking about, hey, are you two together? Why would he be with me when he's with Abeldo? Yo, you would never look at anybody with that mentality. That ain't having terrible. Yeah, bring more of the home team back, man. What's going on? Ultimately, this seasonal premiere, last time I said, checked all the right boxes and did what it needs to do. Overload this back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hit that. The rest of the video, leave a comment on what you think. Like this video for me, and I will see y'all. Peace out. Hmm. I need to do my intro earlier. Hey, let's still moving this video.